the last time we opened up a Pokemon Celebrations Lance's Charizard V-Box on the channel, we managed to pull my personal favourite card from the set, none other than the shiny gold Mew, which still to this day has a super high price over on the secondary market. So I thought, why not test our luck today, because in today's video we crack open our second Pokemon Celebrations Lance's Charizard V-Box. Yo, what's up guys, Alien is here back with another video. Hope you're all doing well. But as I had said, as you saw the title of of this video, in today's video, we crack open our second Pokemon Lance's Charizard V-Box on the channel to see if we can manage to pull our second shiny gold new card. My personal favourite card in this set. I would love to have a second to add to our collection. And who knows, maybe we'll pull even more cards to add to our Pokemon Celebrations Master Set. Who knows, it's all down to the packs you will see in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it, baby. So here we do have the Lance's Charizard V-Box, a very popular box at that, and here's the back if you want to pause that and read, like the flamethrower with Lance's Charizard V, really cool to see a very uh, popular character from the Gen 1 and 2 region, Lance, you know, being a member of the Elite Four and the champion of the Johto region, he is a dragon type trainer, don't know why it's with Charizard, we all know he is not a dragon type, but I think we can all agree he should be, right? So before we do get into the, any of the goodies, being the promo, both regular and oversized, and the packs, you de do get a cool little just information about owner's Pokemon. That's where the trainer's name is in front of the Pokemon, so Lance's Charizard. Then you have Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu, really cool. Whether Pokemon came up with this idea, I really do appreciate it. I know not everyone's going to read it. But I certainly am. Just a really nice touch, you know. And just again, you know, just showing respect to the past 25 years. But now let's get this jumbo and packs out. I really do like the promo. I think it is quite cute. Here is the jumbo oversized promo of the Lance's Charizard V. Really sweet with the 25th anniversary um, logo there. And we'll get the regular size promo out in a minute. And here it does come. If you guys have seen my first opening, maybe getting a bit of deja vu based off the jumbos and promos but it really is sweet to see and we definitely are sleeving this up i think it's so cool seeing lance like commanding the flame charizard is shooting out in the background you guys can see my psa 10 charizard v max and darkness place my psa 10 gold soul galau gx so my hidden fates promo set and my PSA 10 Rainbow Rare Japanese Espion and Deoxys GX. If you are curious why the Espion and Deoxys GX is in Japanese, well, the card has never came to English. I know, I know. In terms of the tag team Espions, we only saw the half art Espion and Deoxys and a alt art promo. We never saw the full art and Rainbow Rare. However, Japan was lucky enough to get them, those lucky people. They Honestly, I wish we had those cards in English so bad. And it was the code card for the promo of the Lance's Charizard V on PTCGO. Even though there is a shift coming soon of PTCGO to PTCG Live, redeeming that will still give you it if you transfer your account over. And here are the packs, four celebrations, two regular. That quantity ratio for all celebration products does seem to be for every two celebration packs you get, you get one regular pack. So we're going to go Darkness Blaze, Battle Styles, and then our four celebrations. And with celebration being the main highlight of this video, I think we're just going to quickly skim through the regular sword and shield packs as we always do, because I don't want to make this video too much longer. So we have a reverse hollow lunar tone and a regular rare Arcturus there. I value your guys' time, and I know most of you guys, if not all of you, will be here for these celebration packs. So as much as I love these packs, and you long-term viewers know I love my battle styles, I think it is heavily underrated. I think it is a great set. We will not be doing the packs. Action. We do have something it is a none of them a Corva Knight V Max to kick it off. That has definitely got a nice shine to it right there. I was hoping it would be one of the alt arts, you know, Battle Stars being the set which brought back the alt arts or first introduced them into the Sword and Shield era. We saw alt arts in the last uh, year of the Sun and Moon era, the tag team um, year. But then for the first year of Sword and Shield, they weren't around. But with Battle Styles, they came fighting back. And I think it has been a great addition. And I never want to see Pokemon remove them ever. And I don't think they will. So we're now on to our celebration packs. Here's the code card. And we're going to do the mini celebration pack trick, being one from the back one to the second back. And let's see what we do get. No guesses of the end. Energy 
here. Hello, Zek from Lunala, and a regular uh, Kyogre. <laughs> yeah, that can happen with these celebration packs. It does seem like the pull rates on them can be quite good, but sometimes you just get so unlucky like that, and you get some pretty big duds. The thing with celebration, the main set, and um, the set as a whole is quite small, so you do see repeats so often. I mean, if this is your first celebrations opening, you've already seen that ho -Oh twice. Here it is. One of the more common cards, just like that restaurant. However, this Mew card is gorgeous, just like the gold uh, shiny moon. Our first remake card being Imposter Professor Oak. Seems to be one of the more common reprint cards. But hey, I'd take this over. I'd know it's the main set Kyogre any day. On to pack number three. You know, I've seen the copy saying the ratio to uh, uh, get, getting a reprint card is one in every two packs. So if we can get that, that would sure be nice. Get two reprints in one box. That would be lovely. And we do see uh, an insane border. So I'm trying to think. I think this is a, a reprint of a more modern card. So I'm probably going to put my guess in as I'd say seeing the YT of the Reshiram or the Mega Rayquaza EX from Rolling Skies. The Reshiram, not this Reshiram. The Reshiram, of course, being from Black and White Base. And we do get none of them. Yes, my guess was correct. The Shim and Hollow pattern on this card, guys. And all reprint cards are insane. I haven't pulled this one on the channel yet, of course. Look how gorgeous this is. I know a lot of people saying they're not a fan of the um, hollow pattern and stuff because it's too similar to the McDonald's hollow pattern. But for me, I love it. And the texture all over the card. Wow, this is truly gorgeous. Fun fact, this card is actually the first uh, ever full art we got alongside the Reshiram full art from Black and White Base. And it's super cool to see pulled. So we, of course, have got to sleeve this bad boy up. In our Pokemon Celebrations ETB sleeves. And you know what? We're going to put that right bang in the center. And we still do have one more pack. Can we go above the predicted odds? Being a reaping card. One in every two packs. And get three in one box. Or is there a shiny gold Mew in here? And my odds of getting the shiny gold Mew are truly insane. Because think about it guys. If we get a shiny gold Mew in this. Then my odds of getting a shiny gold Mew in a Lance's Charizard V box. Is technically 100%. I'm sure that is not the average odds. I'm sure it's a lot lot higher and we do not get it I and mean, i know that card is very rare but for me i'm sure that would be an anomaly right there but now we're going to hit you guys with the recap a shorter video i know but i didn't want to lengthen out because it's a short amount of packs Covenant V Max, gorgeous promo card here. And the start of the show none of them the reprint of the first ever full art reshiram Okay, so there you guys have it. That was our second Pokemon Celebrations Lancer's Charizard V-Box. No shiny gold by immune by any means, but this set is so great that even if you do not pull the creme de la creme, the peak of the set, you are still happy. The pull rates are very strong, and that full art restaurant is definitely getting added into the Celebrations Master set. And I have an updated Celebrations Master set coming you guys soon the binder is really filling in well i don't want to show any cards off yet we really are close to getting a full complete set one of these small sets for sure this set is great quality not quantity am i right honestly i love this set so much and i do think what pokemon chose to do was really original i don't think any of us were expecting new and old cards and it really does make me smile as both a collector and player because pokemon has shown respect for both sides of the um, hobby in this set and for comic question of the day what is your favorite card in celebration for me is the shiny gold mew but i wouldn't be surprised if i see some comments about the full art restaurant this card is so gorgeous and iconic you know restaurant being a legendary gen 5 remake sometime soon fingers crossed a eh? and the full art of course the first full art we ever received that is a true staple in the community and that card has its mark in history and pulling the remake today really did put a smile on my face and i'm sure put a smile on lots of your guys's face at home as well that is all for me in this video make sure to like and subscribe the best thing to do for the channel and it is totally free and whilst down there answer a comment question and they've been your favorite card in celebrations but i've been alien esp you guys have been the best and i mean the best friend youtube i'll see you guys in the next one peace